Syria's been involved in a civil war since uh, 2011, and uh, a variety of opposition forces have been seeking to overthrow the government of Bashar al-Assad. Christians have historically represented about 10% of the population of Syria. So that's 2 million out of a little over 20 million. There are a million Christians still living uh, in Syria today. And if the wrong people take over the country, there will be no place for them. Those million Christians will either be killed or will be forced to leave the country. After the start of the civil war in Syria, a particularly violent uh, extremist group emerged, now known as the Islamic State. The Islamic State controls large uh, territories in Syria, in the northeast uh, part of the country. The Islamic State has demonstrated its brutality through beheadings and other gruesome executions of Christians and, and other people. Christianity has played an important role in Syria, and Syria has been an important place in the history of Christianity. It's a place where early church fathers resided and uh, a place where there's been a continuous Christian presence uh, since the, uh, the founding of the faith. Our friend Flavius was recently in Damascus looking at the situation of the Christians there and literally stayed in a house on Straight Street, the same Straight Street where uh, St. Paul was baptized. Driving through uh, downtown Homs, which historically is the neighborhood where the Christians uh, live, was a pretty uh, stark uh, experience. The, the center of the city completely bombed, bombed out. The priest, the head of the, the parish from Homs that I met, described how the, um, the center of the town where, where, uh, where the Christians live, and they had fled in large part um, because they were pushed out by the rebels. Uh, the, the, the folks I interviewed uh, told me they've been living under this uh, fairly daily um, mortar attack, indiscriminate mortar attacks for the last four years. The Christian communities I encountered, so they are, they are faced with different needs that uh, are not answered. Money and food and uh, medicines, uh, clothes. Despite the havoc created by the, the war, I was almost surprised to see some of the resilience that I, I witnessed. This young man who had of Syriac origin was born or had migrated in, to Sweden and came back to Syria taking a seminary course. To me, it conveyed the long view that the Christian have as he shared. Uh, it's not the first conflict. The Christian keep their, their faith in, in, in their role and their presence in the, on that land. I never, I, I don't think that Christianity will end uh, because Christ will never end. So Christianity will never end, not even in the Middle East. The Christian Church in Syria is administered by the five patriarchs of Antioch, and I'm very proud of the fact that because of the generosity of our donors, Solidarity with the Persecuted Church has been able to make grants to three of the five patriarchs uh, already. There's Patriarch Gregorius, who lives in Damascus. He's head of the Melkite Church, and our grant to Patriarch Gregorius was so that he could provide health care to children who've been wounded uh, in the civil war in Syria. We've made a grant to uh, Patriarch Aphram, head of the Syriac Orthodox Church, who has launched Little Angels Orphanage uh, in Damascus. We've made a grant to Patriarch uh, Unan of the Syriac Catholic Church, and that grant is so that he can provide direct support of his parishes uh, in the Valley of Christians in Syria. Our goal in Syria is to help the church remain where it is, and when the opportunity arises to help it rebuild, to, to get back to its former stature. Donors to Solidarity with Persecuted Church are directly serving uh, the church where it's being persecuted in places like Syria and Iraq and, and Nigeria. And uh, our donor funds are going directly to implement the projects defined by the local church. If the international Christian community does not step forward to provide assistance, then there will be no Christian presence in Syria. There will be no Christian church and no Christians residing in this country that's had such an ancient Christian presence.